Hey everybody, it's DJB and it has been a long time. It's also the first time that I'm filming outside. That's a thing that I can do now. Some of you may or may not have noticed that my recent uploads on YouTube haven't been that great. They have all been pre-canned, pre-recorded, pre-edited, scheduled posts and I've been doing alternating weeks of unboxing videos and speed draws and that's kind of the only content I have for you guys and I know that that's not like the best content. That's just kind of how my life has gone the past few months so I haven't been able to make much more than that. If you really want to stay in the loop with me, I definitely suggest following my Facebook and my Instagram. I post way more there. I feel like I need to explain what's been going on. Basically last summer I got engaged. We decided to kind of push the wedding quite quickly, like within a year. So we got engaged last year, pretty much at this time. It's been like a year and the wedding is like next month. <laughs> Just saying that I think explains what's been going on. Basically this all started not actually when we got engaged but around December. We're living with my parents and then we had Christmas together and then we spent time here at the house painting and then we didn't actually move into the house officially until beginning of January. Moving was a lot of work and then additionally like unpacking everything, setting everything up. It took a long time to actually settle into the house. Like we hadn't lived in a house before so we didn't have a lot of like actual things to have a household. We've always lived in rentals. And end of January and the beginning of February I did complete my first original sculpture and I released her in resin casts uh, and she sold out in a matter of a few weeks. She was a limited edition of 45 copies and that was a really exciting moment. That was a really, that's a game-changing moment for me to release my first sculpture is a huge deal. We had just settled into the house and we got this great idea to get a puppy at the same time. So around Valentine's Day, we adopted Ren and that was an oversight. <laughs> it ended up being way more work than anticipated, it was working with balancing and we essentially have since given her to my family and they have had her. So we're not really sure how she's gonna fit into our lives in the future. But we did do that and that was a good month of like not sleeping and chaos amidst all of the other chaos that was happening. And then in March I finished my best custom contest entry, Odyssey. I had started Odyssey a year ago, so after I finished Denali and the contest results were announced, I started on Odyssey right away. He was finished like pretty much at the same time that they announced the contest rules and I found out that Canadians can no longer enter. So I put all that work into him and then he wasn't even able to be entered into the contest, which is super unfortunate, but I kind of assumed that's how it would go. I just, I needed an entry and I needed to finish an entry early if I wanted to enter because there was no way I would be painting and sculpting into June. Kind of April and May months, I took a more of a focus into revamping logo design. So I've been doing a ton of logo design for model clients and other clients locally and whoever finds my page and likes my stuff. So I've been doing a lot of graphics and then I've also branched into clothing for the first time. So I've been making all my own merch clothes. <laughs> That's been really fun. Super busy additionally. And then in May I actually did finish another original sculpture. He's finished. He's ready to go to the caster. Casting is kind of tentative so I will announce that officially when it happens. So now this month we're in June and it's pretty much all hands on deck for wedding. It's crazy to think that those are the accomplishments I made in the model horse world, but I've also been like working three days a week at a part-time job and planning an entire wedding, which involves making all of the wedding decorations, coordinating all the things, having, you know, bachelor party, bachelor party for chance, uh, bridal showers. So we've been doing like all the like stuff for that and it's been insane and I have never been this busy. I'm very excited and I'm just taking this time to be more present in my personal life. I won't be present essentially until Briarfest. Briarfest is the weekend after I get back from my honeymoon. I do have a small Briarfest sale for you guys. 
it's nothing crazy but there will be a sneak peek of my original sculpture that will be released and I think I'm planning on instead of doing a big Briarfest sale I'm gonna try and have a bigger sale in the fall emphasis on try we'll see how far I actually get I have a scheduled model horse show in August actually and then after that show I plan on selling some of my older customs that I've been hanging on to as a part of Briarfest I did participate in the planning of that and there is a tutorial as a part of the virtual ticket event it's a virtual tutorial so definitely check that out I believe it's five dollars to buy and I'll put a link in the description to kind of check that out and be a part of that if you want to interact with me on your Briarfest experience. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for following and sticking with me, and um, here's to more active posting in the future. <laughs>